Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Um, I know that it has been a while that I have posted any consistent videos. Uh, for those who are, follow me, uh, who are following me on Facebook, probably you do know that I'm quite active on the Facebook and uh, pretty much um, you can find the link to my Facebook page into the uh, description down below. And uh, yeah, you feel free to uh, tune in for a uh, live streams and as well those live, stream are, live streams are containing a free readings. Now the reason why I haven't been a, um, in touch with you guys lately, <clears throat> it is because, um, as you probably know, I am uh, executing my own personal tarot classes. And now as uh, the main tarot class, which is the beginner tarot class, which is the beginner's tarot class, it's a uh, <clears throat> it's a on a recorded version currently. Uh, means that you can, uh, as soon as you contribute to it, you can uh, have it in your own pace. You are going to get access to the twelve hours of content lectures, which are including. Uh, or are containing a, the uh, profound explanation of the major arcana and uh, also how you can use those uh, major arcana in terms of uh, career, in terms of relationship, as well as if you are looking for those things also, uh, I mean career and relationship, and also in the uh, various positions into the spread that I have uh, dedicated for the class and it's pretty much a, a spread that I am using myself as well in my professional readings. Uh, so at the end of this class, you are set to do your own uh, personal readings uh, in, or uh, private readings as well, hopefully. <clears throat> and uh, that is not all. You also are going to get a one personal, a free, uh, not, it's not free. It is within the uh, purchase, you know, one personal, a uh, coaching hour with me. Uh, whenever you do have questions, you want to practice, you know, uh, you want to ask me certain things that are, that's, uh, are pretty, uh, that you couldn't get your grab uh, um, upon uh, into the, uh, from the from the videos. Oh my God, what is so difficult to talk today. So yeah, uh, pretty much things that are, are, pretty, uh, are a bit vague and you could not understand from the videos, you can extensively ask me about them in this uh, particular hour. And as well, um, as usual, if you do want a personal reading with me, uh, you can just purchase one from my website. You can find it here into the uh, description down below. And once you uh, set your purchase, upon 24 hours, I'm gonna come back to you and um, via email that is and going to give you a uh, explanation how your reading is going to take place depending on the purchase uh, that you have placed so that being said uh enjoy the show uh, i hope that you do like the uh, monthly videos and here you go your star sign right so that is going to be a uh, virgo sun virgo moon and as well a virgo rising uh, monthly general tarot reading July 2020 and uh, in this video I'm going to use my favorite four cards uh, tarot spread. I'm primarily using uh, into my private readings and as well uh, I'm going to do something that I probably haven't done before um, in this channel and I will going to determine the time frame in which the things that start happening in July are going to unfold. So by what time, you know, those uh, initiation of yours are going to give results. So let's have a look now. The first, the first one for you, Virgo, is going to be the Five of Pentacles. Moving next, we do have the Sun card, followed by the Judgment. And the last one that we do have here, that is going to be the Empress. So we do have those four cards and let's have a look at the time frame. So the time frame is but the start by the start of May next year. So you do have a quite of a long way to go with the things that are to unfold for you or to take place for you now in July. So what I mean uh, by that time frame is say that if you do start uh, dating with somebody, that dating stage may uh, take is uh, may take place from now up until the start of May. That are, that is your time frame of that dating stage. But um, 
what we do have into those cards for you Virgo it's rather rough month um, and uh, it's not to say the least okay uh, it's not that bad it just it will be very dynamic in a sense of that uh, you probably won't gonna have much time to catch up your breath under any circumstances that is because now um, the time will come for you and you are not going to be able to delay it nor postpone it in any uh, in any way possible to address issues and things either career-wise or either relationship-wise that are making you feel insecure. Like, for example, if you are feeling uncertain about your place, uh, you haven't get your contract yet, you know, or you're seeing certain signs that kind of divulges that, you know, you may be... Uh, considered for layoff and these kind of stuff uh, you ain't gonna keep a silent treatment about it um, and in relationship for example if you do have any suspicious that your partner is not into you anymore and that they are contemplating leaving you and these kind of stuff you are going to address those issues throughout the month of July and uh, <clears throat> it won't going to be pleasant at all as a matter of fact uh, you can't expect, you know, as soon as you speak your minds, because uh, this is what the whole thing relates to, okay? Speaking your minds and divulging why you are feeling uncertain, why you are feeling in insecure, if you will, in terms of career and in terms of relationship. That may or may not offend people, but people in general are not going to feel pleased that you are raising up those questions for one or another reason you know some may think that how could you do it i mean what what have i done to deserve that others however it could be feel it could feel uncomfortable because they are as guilty as charged right and uh, the thing is uh, here throughout the month itself it is that the month is going to bring you rather quite of a liberation if you will and you are to be on the money with with the addressing of the issues so whatever issues you are about to address for your marriage uh, that are the issues that are actually disintegrating the marriage toward a certain extent now the marriage doesn't have to be in a bad shape but more or less there are problems in it okay and uh, you are going to be on the money raising the issues that are making you feel uncertain once again and those issues are going to relate exactly to the things that are making your marriage not as perfect as your marriage could be that is just for example same thing goes about career now uh, one thing i don't know if this is going to be a toward a positive end or negative end for you because it does depend what you want but the whole reason for that uh, addressation here or addressing those issues is so you can save the thing okay so you can salvage the situation instead of um, instead of letting it go so you raise those matters so you can save your marriage you raise those matters so you can save your career you raise those matters so you can save your uh, your relationship as well instead of you know uh, searching for a um, I don't know searching for a, uh, a a reason if you will to to let go of it and to uh, and to break free to break loose from the uh, relationship or from the marriage now with the judgment on the third position it's important to know that this is going to bring a huge momentum for you to set the things right in one or another way probably for the entirety of your life as well and there are going to be there is going to be a cue you know the, the way i imagine that the thing is going to happen it is that you know right now everything is lingering on the balance say uh into your career yeah things are not ideal but still uh, they are not as bad to make you speak your mind but suddenly throughout uh, the month itself, something is going to happen that is just simply going to take the cake and you will not going to be able to keep it in a silent treatment anymore. And uh, it's going to be a, big, a one big shout out from your behalf that is going to sober and wake up everything, everything around. And uh, that is going to provoke... Uh, I don't want to say transformation because in the majority it's not going to be a transformation. It's going to be more like a wake-up call, if you will. It's going to wake up uh, your supervisor and it's going to point them into the right direction. Now, should they take it or not, it is entirely up to them. It's going to wake up your, say, wife that is not doing the things as she is supposed to do in the marriage. Now, is she going to start doing them 
that is entirely up to her that it is just an example so you're just gonna make a point here but it will not fall to you is that point going to be accomplished or not and it is because it is not up to you that is exactly the reason why you're gonna feel uncertain and insecure throughout the month itself nonetheless uh, the whole reason of this month is so you can adopt some kind of a uh, comfortable state and as well regain control over the decision making in your life in general into your career and uh, and into your uh, relationship at all now uh, the way that i do suspect that the things are unfolding is um, or rather like the things are revolving i'm sorry is a cause based um, mainly i'm sorry uh, over a shenanigans what I mean, it is that the root of your troubles in terms of career and in terms of relationship, they, they are not severe issues, but they are rather trifles. But just because they haven't been addressed for so long time, now they really become, become as a thorn into your, uh, in your thumb uh, on, the, on the foot. And uh, now that thorn, that splinter, needs to be pulled out and it will be a bit painful okay but at the end of the day uh, you are to find yourself in rather quite a comfortable and uh, above everything else very very mature position now that is a trans it's not a transformation it is more like a transition from a very unresponsible and how can i say uh, carefree stage either career-wise or either relationship-wise toward a very mature and responsible stage of either one's marriage, relationship, or a career as well. Um, now, uh, again, I want to stress that, the, that the, the cycle itself, or rather like the transition, is not going to be rather very pleasant, if you will, but it is quite necessary so you can, um, so you can get the things the way they are supposed to. So you can have pleasure from... Uh, doing your job so you can have pleasure of spending time in your relationship so you can have pleasure of flirting with people around and so on and so forth so the, the month itself for you virgo is about regaining back the taste of life that you are now that you are more or less um, numbed yourself for because you are pretty much not addressing the elephant not the elephant but the small stones on the road that are exactly capable to turn over uh, your carriage so that being said virgo this was your a monthly tarot reading for a july 2020 hopefully you do enjoyed it guys hopefully you do liked it and uh, we're going to see each other next time until then bye